Joining us now is Recycle Michael with his gift list for this year. Take us through the holidays, kind of A to Z, on how to be greener. Well, let's start with decorating. Um, you have a choice of a tree or decorations in the home. So a lot of people like the live tree that cut and bring to the home. Other people like the artificial tree. Um, they're both fine choices if you do the right thing with them. Um, I personally don't like to cut a tree and drag a dead tree into my living room. Um, but while that tree is growing, it is producing oxygen, it is good for the environment. Um, artificial trees, if you use them again and again, year after year, are a good choice as well. Unfortunately, they're made mostly from plastic and shipped in from um, China, so there are some shipping pollution related to that. You brought us a live tree that you can have in your home and then take outside and enjoy year-round as well. I like that. I like the idea of giving my neighborhood a gift as well. Um, and live trees, they can be difficult. You have to make sure you don't shock the tree. So if you have a live tree in your living room, in a big warm living room, um, and then take it immediately out to the cold weather, um, it may be hard for the tree to survive. So we recommend transitioning the tree. Take it, put it in the garage for a while, put it somewhere where it can have a little bit of time to acclimate um, to the cold weather before you plant it. How about fakes? This is a beautiful fake. We can use it year after year after year or just use it one year and toss it. Well, obviously one and toss it is the wrong choice. Um, remember the right order of the three R's is reduce, reuse, recycle. So reuse is important. So if you had a flake, fake plant or a fake tree that you can use um, for 10, 20 years, that's an excellent choice. What should we do to green up our presents? Well, there's lots of good choices and some bad choices for the environment in terms of Christmas gifts. I think the one thing I want to make point of is Try to avoid battery-powered toys. Why would we avoid batteries? Well, batteries are full of heavy metals and acids. Um, batteries like this can be found in all kinds of appliances, toys. What's wrong with kid-powered toys? So we say, whenever possible, avoid battery-powered devices. But we can't. We simply can't. We've got the MP3 players. We've got the little kid devices where their little thumbs are going 90 miles a minute to play their games. What do we do about batteries for those? Well, try to buy the rechargeable batteries. Um, each year they come out and are new and improved. Rechargeables, and here's a nice rechargeable um, system that's um, less than $10 at the store. Um, it's a much better choice because the batteries can be used again and again and again. Americans buy about 17 batteries per person in December and January, all around the Christmas holidays. Um, we can do a better job than that. Well, around the holidays, we also take about 17 million pictures apiece. How should we be taking our pictures to be a little greener these days? Digital cameras are an excellent choice. They've come way down in price. Um, they use less chemicals. And more importantly, they just make the pictures you want, not all the other bad pictures. And one of the hot gifts this year is a stainless steel bottle. Why? Oh, um, bottled water um, is quite a phenomenon. We, they didn't exist a generation ago. Um, but now a lot of Americans drink water. and. Why are we taking the most abundant resource on the planet, water, and put it into a non-renewable resource like a plastic bottle? Oklahomans, we estimate, will buy 242 bottles of water this year. Um, well, you're paying a thousand times the price of tap water. Um, instead, buy a good stainless steel one and use good tap water. And last but not least, we have to wrap it and we have to get rid of the wrappings. What should we be doing? Well, I like to be creative. Um, for example, I use cereal boxes um, for lots of items. Um, I bought my wife some gloves. They fit into an old macaroni and cheese. It was much easier to wrap for me that way. And then for wrapping paper, um, we use all kinds of ideas. Um, comic strips, we've seen that. People use that before. But one of my favorite ones is actually a road map. Uh, this is the new Oklahoma map. And it's an excellent quality paper and a very large size as well. And I have out-of-town relatives, uh, my brother and sisters all live out of the state now, and they tell me every year they really like that they get an Oklahoma map. Uh, they almost like the wrapping paper more than the gift, unfortunately. Oh, well, we really like your ideas and can't thank you enough for being with us to green up the holidays. Thank you.